This is Clock Tower 2 for the Sony PlayStation, played for us by Axical. By Human Entertainment Human? It's for it's for humans, is the entertainment. That's what that means. I have to opt out. Hmm. Well, have you? do you know anything about the Clock Tower games? Uh, not really, no. I'm... Is it a game of... where you go to a place to find out what time it is? It is not. Um, oh. I... I played one of them, like, for the PlayStation back in the day, but I kind of like watching them and stuff via Let's Play. This is sort of the OG amnesia, you know? Very wet, as you can see. So is this the planning phase for the clock tower? No, this is the whole... They're, they're, they're near the clock tower. Oh. They're digging up stuff by the clock tower, I presume, you know? Why don't they just get watches? Yeah. So, so far, are you feeling the survival horror? Did ASCII do a good job in the intro? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. ASCII really makes good art. No, they do. <laughs> oh. All right, that's not Uncanny Valley at all. Thanks. Oh, oh I'm at the creepy train station. <laughs> or bus stopper. Oh, I must be on top of Photograph World. Got it. Let's not even animate this. They get the idea. Wait, what? <laughs> How did that get into my uh, vacation photos? Right, I don't know what that had to well. do with Clock Tower, but all right. Okay, this music could be a lot better, too. I don't know anything about this particular entry in the series. Interspersed Patrick Stewart face palming, and okay. Uh, uh, is this like a the demo play? Number two? What the fuck? Okay, can I ask what's happening yet? It's Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. Clock Tower 2? Yes. Well, if I had watched Clock Tower 1, I would have context for all this, slow beef. No, 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 no. It's like... Now you're making me look silly. Do I need to read the pamphlet before we start? I think it's kind of like Halloween 3, and so far as you don't need to worry about that. Should I have chosen the uh -huh option? That guy doesn't look like any of the Clock Tower villains I know and love, so... He's just admiring the logo. Lisa just called. She'll be arriving tonight. I really think it's okay having her stay with us. Do you gonna feed me, or...? Children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. I touch your wrist in comfort. Anyway, Ashley will be home soon. Don't look so worried. I can't tell if you look worried or not. Let's go drink that mouthwash on the bar. Are they worried? <sighs> I'm just having a staring contest in the middle of it. <laughs> that might be Ashley. You lost, Philip. Oh. I'll go and see. I'll go and see. Take... What is their floor made out of? <laughs> They're just taking tiny steps. Did a beanbag chair explode in their room recently? It's called softwood. It's, it's like hardwood, oh, but with sand on top of it. That Maxwell curse is... Giving me bad fashion sense. <laughs> oh, she just noticed his haircut, I think. Hmm. So do they live in the clock tower, too? No, I don't think we're at the clock tower yet. Oh. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay, so the first chapter, here we go. Yellow Curse Doll. Ooh. Hello, Uncle Philip, Aunt Catherine, it's Alyssa. Oh, free luggage. Oh, nice. <gasps> Was that? <laughs> Was she trying to fly just then? <laughs> I think so. Am I Peter Pan? No. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's a point-and-click game? Kinda, yeah. Um, but it's on PlayStation 1. I'm not sure if it's one of those weird PS1 mouse games, but nobody had those anyway, so you can see they're playing with the... Um, Axicle's playing with the controller for us. Hmm. How do I get around my own house? <laughs> well, she's got luggage, so I thought maybe she just came back from a big trip, just wants to sleep, but, you know. We should really hire a cleaning service. Was someone binge drinking the other night and... Didn't quite handle it uh, well. I guess, yeah, she doesn't seem to be bothered by any of this. Well, no wonder. We don't have a toilet. What the? This will happen if you don't have a toilet. <gasps> what happened here? <laughs> I just now noticed. <laughs> oh, they thought it was funny, too. 
Seriously, where's the bathroom? Oh, shit. I have to say, though, for a horror protagonist, she does act kind of normal. Never mind. Don't worry about the washer dryer right now. Now, are the appliances okay? <laughs> <laughs> a copier in the bed. So that's how you wash polyester. <laughs> oh, I see. So, oh. some little fourth wall break in gameplay hints. And Hasn't Bates been running this whole time towards her? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, apparently there's a lot of vomit going on, but I don't know why. Is Bates the master of the house? <laughs> I wonder what this key goes to. Shouldn't you know? Am I missing something? It's a good UI, though. I guess we must be, right? This is her house, right? I mean, she had luggage, so she's either staying over or back from a trip or something. Okay. <laughs> she's like, wait a minute, the torso usually uses the upstairs bathroom. So Bates is just running against that door on the right right now. I guess now. so, yeah. Okay. Trying to figure out. They were... Oh, man. Is that a leg shoved in that toilet? And why do you shove toilet paper in the top... Very out of reach well, for whoever's using the potty? There's, there's, I, I guess that's occupied? Uh, no, no, nothing interesting in here to click on. I don't know if occupied is the word slow beef so much as recently used. <laughs> oh my god, what did I eat? Yeah. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's, you don't want to know what was eaten. Let's, let's call somebody, maybe. That would probably be the smartest option. No? Alright. No, let's explore some more, see where this is going. So that's the door, right? The Bates was, uh... That, that's, yeah. a... Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Maybe the clock tower's in here. Oh, the line's dead. Oh shit, was this game before cell phones? Well, you're oh, screwed. No. Maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we we'll get out. So this is Yellow Doll, is the name of this chapter, right? So we yes. have nothing to fear from this chapter type. No, okay, no. Just making sure. Well, I mean, I mean, it could be a very, very large doll, I suppose. What fearful has happened besides you know, demon arms coming out of? bathroom fixtures um oh i assumed see i assumed that, that there was someone's body dismembered and then put into various bathroom fixtures like hmm. an evil like plumber plumbing hating psychopath you know sure sure <laughs> yeah everything's normal here that's fine there's no yellow vomit here mm. so good or or is it pee <laughs> i don't know pea soup okay well all right, Alyssa. Now that we are we done exploring yet, or I can't go there. Come on, you can't click on that. Don't be silly. So this is a huge family who lives here. Oh yeah, no. There's there's clearly room for eight. Well, this is this is the entertainment room. You eat right by. Looks entertaining. Mm -hmm. You can just stare at that chandelier for hours. Everyone eat by the fireplace. You know, like no one does in real life. That's perfect. You know, maybe now is a good time to unpack. Hmm. Or leave. You could leave. Maybe don't leave a mess in the house, because the rest of the house is so immaculate. There's also a body in here. Alyssa could be part of it. Oh, shit. Well, is it that mysterious? Well, you're screwed. Sorry, little lady. So there's no sounds or anything, or nothing? We can't do anything that's just... Well, there's the cushiony material the floor's made out of. Is the game even going to give us an explanation for why we can't go upstairs, or just don't want to? You can't click anywhere up here. Hmm. You haven't fully... Time for a nice bath. You haven't found all the gross things about this. A human torso. Wait, so the shower nozzle was way out beyond the tub. Um, is that what yeah, that, that would be probably problem number two with the tub right now. That's the first thing That's I notice about this room. This wash basin is made of metal. <laughs> that is odd. I, I will give yeah. you that, Alyssa. I mean, the tub otherwise is quite nice. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Very good stuff. I think this is cell ready, personally. <laughs> okay. Maybe just relocate the basin. Just call the realtor up. Say, well, you know, we have to run a comb over it, more or less, but... So what was... Yeah, maybe don't do that. 
That's usually not a smart thing to do in the horror genre. Maybe now you see what Bates is up to. Wait, wasn't that was that locked earlier? That room. Oh no no no! I'm sorry. I say got it. Oh now she'll notice what's wrong. Before it was too dark to see that. <gasps> what's that? <laughs> You didn't see that the first time. That's hilarious. <laughs> Good luck finding the toilet paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you if you run out, you're you're kind of screwed there. Unless you're a basketball player. <laughs> Actually, that's what the leg is for, so you can like flail it and reach. <laughs> so reach. Yeah. Knock it down. <laughs> Still not following why we can't go up the stairs, though. I'm not following what the goal is right now. Yeah, well, all right. We can't get out. We can't find anybody. Can't go upstairs. Can't use the can't use the bathroom. Then there's like a human hand in the sink. These things get probably smaller and smaller. Oh no! The, the chandelier was made out of human legs. This fireplace can still be used. That's the solution. <laughs> there's also a, a gun and a sword on the left there. Maybe that would be not such a bad idea. No. That would be a sweet dual wield, bro. <laughs> No. Oh, oh, there we go. Here we go. No. Yeah. No. No. All right. no. She's 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 confused, but yeah, that. No. No. The door. I think she's like very flighty, is what this is like trying to convey. Oh, do I want to light the fire? Or... Yeah, mm. Looking around. It, oh, no. 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 Yep. Yeah. Okay, light the fire. Yeah, yeah. I could light the candles, and, and the feng shui of the room would be a little. Oh. What what that icon was clearly like, hey, go in there. That that'd be great. Bates is just running laps around the house now, right? I think he's actually in a different room running up against a different door. He's in a different home oh. universe. Oh. What triggered that? I think I think just waiting for ten minutes. Did you find someone's been playing the game this long? Let's give them a little Give him a, throw a mulligan at him. Did you find the bathroom? Huh, I'm proud of I'm it. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate telemarketers. Did you get cut off in the middle of the call? She was waiting to see where he was going with that. Oh. I'm going to kill ye and offer you an amazing deal for home security. <laughs> I should vote in the upcoming election. Hello. <laughs> What's your closer, man? Now, I, I don't really understand what that could have unlocked, but... Hmm. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about the Clock Tower series. Okay. So th these games are... These are typically games where you can't actually, like, fight back with against the monsters and such, you know? Okay. You have to, like, hide and things like that. It, that's Like an amnesia sort of thing? Yeah, actually. Um, okay. This was, like, very proto. The first version was on the Super Nintendo, believe it or not, and it actually looked pretty good for its time, in okay. a way. But we solved our first puzzle, as you can see, 13 minutes. How did the dining room keys in the original look and play out? <laughs> I don't know. This is Well, a... apparently dinner wasn't very good. <gasps> what? <laughs> what is that? The dancing arm. Are, are we watching hentai right now? <laughs> Might be. Yeah, I would go for the boot. No, all right. God damn this! This little yellow cursed doll is uh, <laughs> fucking things. Up. Well, someone couldn't hold it in when they were eating. It's only an arm. Yeah, just that. No. Well, it's also moving. I think that kind of stands out more. <laughs> Well, that's weird. It's writhing around. Oh, it's just an arm. <laughs> on top. That of, explains it. It's on top of some kind of cake thing. Well, anyway, over here. Let's retrace our steps now. <laughs> Maybe now take the gun. Yeah, or at least the I sword. Said. I thought maybe once you see the human torso, now it's gun time. That's, you know, my indication personally. That day. Well, to be fair, the armor's just saying hello. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Wait, why can't we go upstairs now? Like, you've seen the arm. Well, okay. The arm was pointing up, I think. We just <laughs> didn't see it. Ooh, put on the armor. 
I wouldn't go by that if I were her. I bet that samurai is what called her. Well, I guess I'm turning in for the night. Yeah, that's... Or going into a different hallway. It's a lot smaller from downstairs. Yeah, all right. (laughs) That's an interesting way of turning. (laughs) Okay, and in here... Okay, so it's in this pink floored room. Oh, it's our room. Yeah, let's just go to bed. Probably was. Is that a piano? I think it's... uh, Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, no. I wasn't sure. There's more yellow shit by that suitcase. Maybe maybe don't play the piano when there's a murderer in the house. Uh-oh. What? The piano. This ghost is amazing. At least it's not chopsticks. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> I give up. I'm bad at this. Is that, like, a good thing when that happens? Or Oh, no, she ran. What is that poster on the wall? Is that, like, censored boobs that aren't censored very well? I'm not sure. Okay. All right. I guess the yellow stuff on the floor wasn't... Wait. Oh, you know what happened, I bet? Um, okay, I don't remember if this is quite true of Clock Tower 1, but um, I think she got scared. Like, I think you, your character can actually do things... Without the plus, you know. Oh, there are things beyond your control? Yeah. <gasps> now that's odd. No. Oh, no. Ashley. Surely that is scarier than the piano incident. We're... Ashley had a green face. We're going to run out again, or? My amulet? <laughs> that's the follow-up. No, stop. Huh? Don't be afraid, Alyssa. Sassy pose. <laughs> okay, I don't remember that anything like this in the first Clock Tower game. I'm gonna just sleep in my concrete slab bed. Well, okay, if I'm gonna have to summon lightning to fight this horror, then so be it. Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? It's P. The hell is this shit? Who the- Why did the cursor become lightning? That's what I'm saying. I think we're. Re- I think this. I think this is a lot different than. Is her AP charging up right now? I guess it is. This is a lot different than Clock Tower. I'm used to. I'm just gonna put that out there. All right. God, this house is enormous. It's like a fucking castle they live in. <laughs> we just kept built. We just kept extending outward. Bought our neighbor's property. Put it. Put it on that. That. We wanted to make a real tower. We should put a clock on it. <laughs> I don't know. Next year. Wow, she needs a shower bad. <laughs> I've never seen stink lines that severe. Wow. Um, This is kind of fucked up. So does the cursor indicate that she can do stuff she could not do before as far as interacting with the environment? I suppose. So clock tap- She's Emperor Palpatine now, yeah. right? So okay. Clock Tower 3 was a Let's Play I, I watched, a Dark Kid do, and that was, like, really off the rails in terms of how crazy it was. I'm, I'm wondering if this game kind of bridges the gap or whatever, you know? Hmm. A prelude to the madness? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't remember any of the other Clock Tower protagonists having, say, lightning powers. That would be new to me. Look, if a door was locked and I had a purple aura and lightning bolt-ish abilities uh-huh. i get that shit open lightning icon abilities lightning iconish abilities right um <laughs> i'm just gonna wait till this blows over <laughs> oh no okay. i mean i would come on you know the samurai come on samurai armor yeah. it's gotta come on let's no all right don't turn your back on the samurai armor there could be human arms in it <laughs> oh shit oh no it's it's a thief a contractor uh, I cast. Le- oh, that's her power. She can turn on. Stuff. Oh, great. Gotcha. She can illuminate rooms with a push of a it's, button. It's like just like infamous. Alyssa, you're okay. Thanks. Who the hell are you? You weren't in this corner the whole time. What kind of place is this? It's like a haunted house. I don't understand. Is- Alyssa, huh? no. no. Oh, is she possessed by this Bates guy? Alyssa's asleep. 
I'm here instead. Oh, I guess so. All right. Well, that's new. Okay. I'm just going to go back to... <laughs> well, now that that's settled... Yeah, okay. I'm just going to get back to work doing something. <laughs> I'm going to leave you to <laughs> it. <laughs> Sorry. You seemed more uh, comfortable like this. <laughs> um, oh, um, that's quite uh -huh. that's quite the adventuring for one chapter, I suppose. Guess so. Tune in next time for more of that. Something. You know, I know I, we're probably gonna cut this part. I just want to say I am so fucking sick of this thumbnail woman from People Try Minecraft for the first time. I am. Um, oh yeah, I see that too. Yeah, I, I see her everywhere. It's pissing me off. <laughs> it's probably not even for the first time.